Carrying no more than a carpet sack or suitcase, many carpet baggers were not only known for meddling in politics, but were also known for committing fraud, bribery, and hoaxes that helped them to confiscate sums up to hundreds of thousands of dollars from states who already had small treasuries. The state is desperate, Mr. Clark. The war has depleted our treasury sorely, and the state is in great need of making money. Governor, I'm very well informed on the South's poor condition. State legislature has issued over a million dollars for railroad purposes. The Springfield Railroad Line must provide transportation to and from our coal mines. Now, a good railway system is critical for us to get that coal to our market. Governor, that's just a small part of the whole picture. In addition, your state will reap a handsome tax revenue from increased profits at the mines, and you'll be putting thousands of citizens to work. With your re-election coming up, that's sure to mean more votes for you. What you need is my expertise in building a railway line that will rival those in the best northern states. But can I be assured that you have the qualifications to complete this project? <laughs> As president of the Capham Railroad, I have an impeccable reputation. In fact, I and several Wall Street brokers are expanding a railroad line at this very moment for the state of North Carolina. Have the state's assembly issue me the million dollars and I will solve all of your problems. Three weeks later, Mr. Clark was issued a million dollars. Unfortunately for the state of Alabama, Mr. Clark never intended to complete the railway project. He cashed in the state's money and soon declared bankruptcy. Leaving for regions unknown, he was never to be seen again.